Some large corporate rental car agents have filed a lawsuit against the province. Plaintiffs are arguing that the local government's cap on the number of rental cars on the road infringes property rights without justified compensation. Mike Lehman reports. Jeju Province recently announced that some rental cars from rental car agencies which refused to participate in the province's rental car quota system will be restricted from driving in Jeju. A decision to first ban older rental cars from Jeju's roads was made in an effort to combat the number of registered rental vehicles. 1,847 rental cars from 40 local rental car agencies are subject to the restriction, with a violation bringing up to a 100,000 won fine per car. But now, big rental companies that have agencies nationwide and which refuse to support the rental car quota system have filed a lawsuit against the province. Lotte Rental, SK Networks, AJ Rent-A-Car, Hanjin Transportation and Happy Networks have taken to the Jeju District Court to overturn the province's administrative measures. The plaintiffs argue that the province is infringing on property rights without justified compensation. Meanwhile, the Jeju Rental Car Association disagrees with the litigation. Previously, each local rental car agency had made the concession to join the provincial office's efforts to reduce the number of rental cars on the roads by phasing out their older models. But the big companies are essentially snuffing out the efforts of the smaller Jeju companies, and so the Jeju Rental Car Association is putting pressure on them to join in. <laughs> The plaintiff companies together own more than 6,000 cars, 20% of the total number of rental cars registered on Jeju. If the province is going to not only protect its environment and keep its roads clearer, but also hold the large mainland rental companies at bay, then it's going to need to act sternly and quickly for the sake of the local rental car market. Mike Lademan, KCTV.